Look, I hate to break it to you, but if you're still relying on Windows Defender to keep your PC safe, then you're playing with fire. Malware is getting smarter, hackers are getting bolder, and basic protection isn't cutting it anymore. Don't believe me? Well, we already put Windows Defender to the test in another video, and spoiler alert, it didn't go so well. That's why today we're breaking down the best antivirus software for Windows 11, the ones that actually protect your system without slowing it to a crawl or bombarding you with useless pop-ups. So if Windows Defender isn't enough, then what is? Because let's be real, just slapping a best overall label on something means nothing if it doesn't actually protect you. A solid antivirus needs to do three things really well. It needs to block malware before it even touches your system, run quietly in the background without slowing your PC to a crawl, and not flood you with pop-ups every five minutes. That's it. Pretty simple. Some antivirus programs do this flawlessly, while others, well, let's just say they're a lot better at selling subscriptions than actually stopping malware. So to separate the lifesavers from the letdowns, here's what actually matters. Malware detection. Can it stop ransomware, viruses, and phishing attacks before they ruin your day? Performance. Will it run smoothly in the background or turn your PC into a prehistoric relic? Features. Does it include useful extras like a firewall or a built-in VPN, or just bloatware that you'll never touch. Pricing and value. Are you getting real security for your money or are you just paying for fancy marketing? Because let's be honest, some of these companies care more about upselling than actually keeping you safe. So let's find out which ones are worth it and which ones you should avoid, like that sketchy email you received from a Nigerian prince. Which antivirus actually delivers? All right, so we've set the rules, but now let's see which antivirus actually lives up to the hype and which ones are just glorious pop-up machines. First up on the list is Bitdefender, a name that's been at the top of independent security tests for years. But does it actually hold up in 2025? Well, let's see. Starting with malware protection, meaning does it actually work? Bitdefender's malware protection is about as good as it gets. It consistently scores 100% in independent lab tests, making it one of the most reliable antiviruses for blocking threats like ransomware, spyware, and keyloggers before they can do any damage. And unlike old school antiviruses that just check for known threats, Bitdefender uses AI-powered behavioral analysis to actually predict and stop new malware before it even executes. Next is performance. Does it slow down your PC? A powerful antivirus is pointless if it drags your entire system down. Bitdefender runs surprisingly light even during full system scans, and it uses less CPU than most full security suites. No sudden slowdowns, no unnecessary background processes, and no endless pop-ups begging you to upgrade. It just works. Features. What do you actually get? Bitdefender isn't just an antivirus, it's a full security suite. It includes real-time malware blocking, a strong built-in firewall, and ransomware remediation, which can undo damage if ransomware ever gets through. Everything runs automatically, so you don't have to spend hours tweaking settings, just install it, and you're protected. Now, there is one drawback. It's not perfect. The VPN is capped at 200 megabytes per day, which is barely enough to check your email. So if you need a VPN, then you'll have to look elsewhere. So the final verdict is bit Defender worth it. If you want top tier malware protection, low system impact, and a reliable firewall, Bitdefender is one of the best choices in 2025. But if a VPN is a must have, this isn't the one for you. If you want to check out a real test with Windows Defender and Bitdefender, then watch this video from our channel where we tested a few top antiviruses against real malware threats. Next up is Total AV. This one's marketed as an affordable, beginner friendly antivirus that still packs premium security. But does a lower price mean lower protection? Well, let's break it down. Starting with malware protection. Does it actually work? Total AV isn't just cheap, it's actually good. Independent security labs consistently rank it highly for malware detection, proving that you don't have to spend a fortune to stay protected. It blocks ransomware, trojans, spyware, and other online threats with real-time protection that runs in the background. The only catch is it's slightly slower than Bitdefender at blocking threats in real time. Not a complete deal breaker, but if you want instant response times, you might notice a difference here. Next is performance. Does it slow down your PC? Total AV's full scan is faster than most competitors, but there's a trade-off. CPU usage spikes at 90% during scans. If you're on an older PC, you might feel it. 
Outside of scans, it runs quietly in the background, no noticeable slowdowns, no random pop-ups, just solid protection. Features, what's included? Total AV comes with real-time protection, anti-ransomware tools, and system optimization features to help clean up junk files and improve overall performance. But here's the catch, no built-in firewall. If you want extra network security, you'll have to set that up separately. And then of course, there's the one drawback, the upsells. Total AV loves to push add-ons like a VPN, dark web monitoring, and extra security features that you may or may not need. If you hate constant reminders to upgrade, this could get annoying pretty quickly. So the final verdict, is Total AV worth it? Well, for the price, yes. Total AV is one of the best budget antiviruses that actually delivers solid protection. But if you can't stand upgrade prompts and need a built-in firewall, you might wanna look elsewhere. Next up, McAfee. It's been around forever. You've probably seen it pre-installed on a new laptop at some point, but in 2025, does it still hold up? Well, let's take a look. Starting with malware protection, does it actually work? McAfee's security is strong, no question about it. Independent lab tests confirm it blocks 99.9% .9 of threats, putting it right up there with the best antiviruses for malware protection. It also has aggressive real-time protection, blocking shady downloads, sketchy files, and phishing links before you can even click them. If you want an antivirus that actively shuts down threats, then McAfee does the job very well. Performance, is it a total resource hog? McAfee used to be notorious for slowing down PCs, but that's changed over the years. It still uses more resources than something like Bitdefender or Total AV, but on a high-end machine, you really won't notice it. If you're running an older PC though, you might feel some slowdowns, especially during full system scans. Features, what do you actually get? McAfee isn't just an antivirus, it's a full security suite. It comes with a firewall, a password manager, and identity theft monitoring. The Firewall is one of the best out there. It's customizable and strong against suspicious traffic. It also includes a VPN, and here's the good news, it's unlimited if you're on an auto-renewing plan. That is way better than Bitdefender's 200 megabyte cap. But as always, there is one drawback. McAfee's pricing model is confusing to say the least. Some features, like identity theft monitoring, are locked behind more expensive plans. So before you buy, make sure you double check what's actually included with your plan. The final verdict is McAfee worth it? If you want a full security suite with strong malware detection, a great firewall, and an unlimited built-in VPN, then McAfee is a solid choice. But if you prefer something lighter on system resources or don't want to deal with a confusing pricing structure, there are better options out there. Now we'll look at Pandadome. It's not as big of a name as McAfee or Bitdefender, but it claims to offer top-tier security with some unique features. Some say it's underrated, others say it's overhyped, so which is it? Well, let's find out. Starting with malware protection, does it actually work? Pandadome takes a different approach to malware detection. Instead of scanning everything locally, it relies on cloud-based detection, meaning most of the scanning happens off of your device. In theory, this should make things faster and more efficient, and I'm happy to report that in practice, it holds up pretty well. Independent security tests show that Pandadome effectively blocks malware, though it's not quite at Bitdefender's level. The big advantage, it's very lightweight. Since it's not constantly running deep scans on your system, it barely uses any system resources. But what about performance? Does it slow down your PC? This is where Pandadome really shines. It's one of the lightest antiviruses available. No lag, no slowdowns, no aggressive background processes that are hogging your CPU. If you're on an older PC or just want something that runs quietly in the background, this is one of the best options out there. What about features? What stands out? Pandadome actually comes with a few interesting extras. One of the best ones is USB protection. The second you plug in a flash drive to your device, it scans it for malware. There's also a process monitor to track suspicious programs, and if your system ever gets completely wrecked, the rescue kit lets you create a bootable recovery tool to fix it. Sounds great, right? Well, here's where things start to fall apart. The VPN is capped at 150 megabytes per day, which is barely enough to check your email. If you need a VPN, this just won't cut it. Pandadome has a free version, but honestly, it's way too basic. No ransomware protection, no advanced security features, just bare bones antivirus scanning. If you want full protection, you have to pay. So the final verdict, is Pandadome worth it? If you want a lightweight antivirus with some useful extras that won't slow down your PC, then Pandadome is a solid pick. But if you need strong real-time protection or a full VPN, then you'll wanna look elsewhere. Last on the list is Malwarebytes.
websites. It built its reputation as the go-to tool for malware removal, but does that mean it works as a full-fledged antivirus today in 2025? Or is it just riding on its name? Well, let's break it down. Starting again with malware protection. Does it actually work? Malwarebytes is great for cleaning up infections, but when it comes to stopping threats before they happen, it's not the strongest option. Independent tests show that while its real-time protection works, it's a step behind leaders like Bitdefender and McAfee in proactive security. If you're looking for the best first-line defense, then this isn't it. What about performance? How heavy is it? Here's where Malwarebytes will surprise you. It's actually one of the lightest antiviruses on system resources. CPU usage stays low even during full system scans, and that makes it a great choice for older or low-spec PCs. But there's a trade-off as usual. Scans can take longer than most competitors. So you're trading speed for efficiency, which is really gonna depend on each individual user. So what about features? What do you actually get? Malwarebytes keeps it fairly minimalistic. It has real-time protection, a solid browser extension for blocking ads and phishing sites, and basic web security. But if you're expecting a full security suite, then you'll be disappointed because there's no firewall, no identity theft monitoring, and no parental controls. It's great if you just want a clean, focused antivirus, but if you need comprehensive security, then you'll feel the missing pieces here. And then there's the one drawback. Malwarebytes is great at cleanup, but it's not the best at prevention. And it's also not the cheapest, especially considering the features that it lacks. For the same price, you could get Bitdefender or Total AV, which offer better all-around protection. So the final verdict, is Malwarebytes worth it? If you want a lightweight, no-nonsense antivirus that won't slow your PC down, then Malwarebytes is a great pick. But if you need top-tier real-time protection, a firewall, or extra security features, then you are much better off with Bitdefender or McAfee. So my final thoughts, which antivirus should you pick? All right, let's quickly recap because we just covered a lot of ground. If you want the absolute best protection, Bitdefender is the go-to. Need a more budget-friendly option? Well, Total AV delivers solid security without breaking the bank. Looking for a full security suite with an unlimited VPN? McAfee has you covered. Prefer a lightweight antivirus that won't slow you down? Well, Pandadome is the best for older PCs. Just need a simple tool to clean up your malware? Well, Malwarebytes still holds up in that case. But now it's over to you. Which antivirus do you trust for Windows 11? Drop your pick down in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. And if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, then be sure to check out the discount links down in the description because nobody likes paying full price. And if you're still wondering if Windows Defender is enough, then watch our full breakdown on its real world performance next. But that's all for this one. We'll see you in the next video.